Hello everyone. In this video, we have this nice exponential equation. We have 4 to the power x plus 4 to the power x plus 2 to the power x is equal to 1. And we have to find all the values of x that satisfy this equation. But before we begin, if you are new here, please do me a favor by subscribing to this channel. It is free, there's no charges on that, and you can change your mind at any time. Thanks a lot for subscribing. Now let's get started. So from here, we have 4 to the power x here and then 4 to the power x here. So I can factor it out. So we have 4 to the power x into 1 plus 1. Okay, then plus 2 to the power x and this is equal to 1. All right, now I'll write this one first. 1 plus 1 is 2. So we have 2 then times this 4 to the power x. Okay, then plus 2 to the power x is equal to 1. All right, so from here we have 2 into 4 is the same as 2 to the power 2, okay? Then x, then plus 2 to the power x is equal to 1, all right? Now from indices, if you have a to the power m, okay, all to the power n, this is the same as a to the power n, then m, okay? So I will apply the same idea here. So we have 2 into 2 to the power x, then 2 over here, then plus 2 to the power x is equal to 1. All right. So from here, let's equate everything to 0. So we have 2 into 2 to the power x or to the power 2, then plus 2 to the power x minus 1 is equal to 0. All right. So from here, I can solve this using two approaches. Now, the first one is 2 into 2 to the power x, then all squared, then plus, then I'll multiply this one by 2, so we have 2 times 2 to the power x, then I'll subtract 2 to the power x from it, then minus 1 is equal to 0. So you realize that when you subtract 2 to the power x from 2 times 2 to the power x, you are still getting this 2 to the power x, okay? So I've done nothing to this, but just that I just want it to be factorable, okay? So from here we have 2 times 2 to the power x. Then from this side also we have 2 times 2 to the power x. So this means that I can factor 2 times 2 to the power x out, okay? So we have 2 times 2 to the power x out. Then we have 2 to the power x here, okay? Then plus 1, all right? Then from this side I can factor negative 1 out. Then we have 2 to the power x plus 1, okay? And this is equal to 0. So at this point, I can say that 2 times 2 to the power x minus 1 is one of the factors. Then 2 to the power x plus 1 is the other factor, and this is equal to 0, all right? So I can say that 2 times 2 to the power x minus 1 is equal to 0, or 2 to the power x plus 1 is equal to 0. Okay, now let's solve for x from this equation. So from here we have 2 times 2 to the power x is equal to 1. Now let's go ahead and then divide each side by 2. Okay, so that this 2 will cancel this. Now we have 2 to the power x is equal to 1 half. And this could also be written as 2 to the power x is equal to 2 to the power negative 1. Now, since the bases are the same, you can equate the exponent. So, this implies that x is equal to negative 1. Okay? Now, let's focus on this equation. Now, from here, we have 2 to the power x is equal to negative 1. Okay? Now, introducing log on the both sides of the equation, we have the log of 2 to the power x is equal to the log of negative 1. And the log of negative 1 is indeterminate, okay? So this implies that this whole equation can never be solved, okay? So I can conclude that the value of x to this equation is negative 1. Now let's go ahead and then substitute this value into the main equation, which is 4 to the power x plus 4 to the power x plus 2 to the power x, and this should be equal to 1, okay? So when x is equal to negative 1, we have 4 to the power 
negative 1, plus 4 to the power negative 1, then plus 2 to the power negative 1, and this should be equal to 1. Okay, 4 to the power negative 1 is the same as 1 over 4, then this side is the exact same thing, which is 1 over 4, then plus 1 on 2, and this should be equal to 1. Okay, so from this whole thing, you can see that the LCM is 4. Okay, so we have 1 plus 1 plus 2. Okay, and this should be equal to 1. So you can see that 1 plus 1 plus 2 is 4. So we have 4 over 4, and this should be equal to 1. 4 over 4 is nothing but 1, and this is equal to 1. Since the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side, you can say that x equals negative 1 is a solution to this problem. Okay, now let's focus on the second approach. All right, so from this equation, the other approach to solve this is that we just let some variable, but in this case, I'll say y equals 2 to the power x. Okay, so we have 2y squared, then plus y minus 1 is equal to 0. Okay, let's multiply these two by this negative 1, and it gives us negative 2. Okay, so we will find two values that when you multiply, you will be getting negative 2, but when you sum them up, you'll be getting positive 1. Okay, and these numbers are 2 and then negative 1. Okay, so this equation now becomes 2y squared. Okay, then plus 2y minus y minus 1 is equal to 0. All right. So from here, I can factor 2y out. So we have 2y into y plus 1. Okay, then this side, I can factor negative 1 out. So we have negative 1 into y plus 1. Okay, and this is equal to 0. All right. So from here, I can say that 2y minus 1 is one of the factors. Then we have y plus 1 as the other factor. And this is equal to 0. So I can also say that 2y minus 1 is equal to 0 or y plus 1 is equal to 0. Now let's solve for y from this equation. So from here we have 2y is equal to 1. Okay. Now dividing each side by 2. Okay. This one will cancel this. Now we have y is equal to 1 half. All right. Now from this equation as well, we have y is equal to negative 1. Okay. Now we said that y is equal to 2 to the power x. So when y is 1 half, we have 1 half is equal to 2 to the power x. And this is also the same as 2 to the power negative 1 is equal to 2 to the power x. Since the bases are the same, you can say that negative 1 is equal to x. In other words, x is equal to negative 1. Okay? Then from this side, y is equal to negative 1. So 2 to the power x is equal to negative 1. And as we did earlier, this equation cannot be solved. So this implies that x is equal to negative 1. Okay, I hope you found this video useful. Please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks a lot for watching. See you again on the next video.